Hi everyone, I'm Gary, and welcome to Dime In with Musical Theatre, the podcast where we take a deep dive into the world of musical theatre. In this week's episode, we'll be exploring the sensational and thought-provoking world of Heather's The Musical. September 1st, 1989. Dear Diary, I look around at these kids I've known all my life and wonder what happened. Tell me what you're waiting for. Based on the cult classic 1988 film, Heather's the Musical burst onto stage, captivating the hearts and minds of theatre enthusiasts worldwide. With its catchy tunes, dark humour and unforgettable characters, this groundbreaking production has become a favourite among fans of both the film and theatre. In each episode of this podcast, we'll delve into the origins, the themes and the impact, giving you an in-depth look into the creation and the journey of this modern theatrical gem. So, if you're ready, let's dive into the darkly comedic and audaciously entertaining world of Heather's the Musical. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss future episodes. So, before we can delve into Heather's, let's remind ourselves of the plot. Heathers takes us back to 1989, a time of high school drama and social hierarchies. Our story revolves around Veronica Sawyer, a 17-year-old student at Westerberg High. Veronica finds herself despairing at the hellish social hierarchy, where students like her best friend Martha Dunstock are tormented by the jocks Ram Sweeney and Kurt Kelly. As things take an unexpected turn, when Veronica's talent for forgery gets the attention of the popular girls known as the Heathers. Heather Chandler, Heather McNamara and Heather Duke decide to give Veronica a makeover and elevate her to their inner circle. As Veronica becomes part of the Heathers world, she is introduced to the mysterious new student Jason J.D. Dean. J.D. criticises Veronica for betraying her friend Martha and warns her about the toxicity of her newfound popularity. However, Veronica finds herself unexpectedly attracted to J.D. after witnessing his prowess in a fight against Ram and Kurt. With Veronica caught between the Heathers and her growing connection with J.D., tensions begin to rise. Veronica's parents express their concern about her new friends, preferring her to reconcile with Martha once more. Veronica's internal struggle intensifies as she finds herself torn between different worlds. As the plot thickens, Veronica witnesses the Heather's cruel pranks on Martha, leading her to question her loyalty. In a moment of defiance, Veronica breaks away from the clique and vomits on Heather Chandler, who vows to ruin her reputation. Desperate and feeling like she has nothing left to live for, Veronica seeks solace in JD's arms. Their unexpected encounter ignites a dangerous connection between them. She, accompanied by JD, decides to apologise to Heather Chandler, attempting to make amends. However, their plan takes a deadly turn when JD poisons Heather Chandler, resulting in her untimely demise. Veronica's world spirals out of control as she tries to navigate the aftermath of Heather Chandler's death. Meanwhile, JD becomes increasingly unstable, driven by his desire for revenge. Veronica is berated and mocked by Heather Chandler's ghost, who warns her that she had kept the other two Heathers in line and with her gone, things will get worse. Veronica tries to rescue the other two Heathers from a drunk Kurt and Ram, who unsuccessfully tries to essay Veronica. Heather Duke takes Heather Chandler's red scrunchie and becomes even more tyrannical than Heather Chandler, while Ram and Kurt tell everyone they slept with Veronica. Veronica is branded a slut, and JD attacks Ram and Kurt, but they savagely beat him up. Act 1 ends with JD and Veronica coming up with a vengeful plan and prank. 
she lures Ram and Kurt to the cemetery with the promise of a fictional threesome. Then, together, Veronica and JD will shoot them with tranquilizers to knock them out, leaving a forged suicide note confessing that they were gay lovers. When they arrive, JD shoots Ram. Veronica realises Ram is dead and the bullets are real. JD shoots Kurt dead and proclaims his undying love to a horrified Veronica. Act 2 opens at the funeral of Ram and Kurt, where the hidden secrets and unexpected revelations bring the characters face to face with their own vulnerabilities and prejudices. Grief and self-reflection push some of the characters towards change, while others sink deeper into darkness. Veronica, torn between her growing doubts about JD's intentions and her lingering feelings for him, must make a difficult decision. She confronts JD and gives him an ultimatum. Abandon violence and lead a normal life with her or lose her forever. As Veronica's world unravels, the school faces a series of disturbing events. JD attempts to manipulate the students into signing a dangerous petition, pushing them towards a shocking act of mass self-ending. Haunted by her past and determined to stop JD, Veronica embarks on a race against time. She confronts JD in a dramatic showdown where lives hang in the balance. In the thrilling climax, Veronica outwits JD, preventing a tragedy. With the truth exposed, she emerges as a symbol of change and growth, breaking free from the chains of conformity and social ridicule. Now I'm going to take you through the development of this dark and hilarious show. So grab a slushie and let's get started. It all began in 1988 when the iconic film Heathers hit the screens, creating a storm of dark comedy and satire. Written by the talented Daniel Waters, this cult classic quickly garnered a passionate following for its daring exploration of social hierarchy and high school life. Fast forward to 2010 when Kevin Murphy had an epiphany. He envisioned transforming this cult classic into a musical. Joined by Lawrence O'Keefe as the composer, they embarked on their creative journey. So in 2010, the first workshop production of Heather's the Musical took place at the New York Musical Theatre Festival. Over the next year, additional workshops and readings were held and various actors got their shot at playing Veronica, JD and the Heathers. We had Barrett Wilbert Weed, James Snyder, Carissa Hod Hodland, Elle McLemore and Crystalline Lloyd stepping into their iconic roles. Finally, in 2014, Heathers the Musical made its off-Broadway debut at the New World Stages. The cast included the incredible Barrett Wilbert Weed as Veronica, Ryan McCartan as JD, Jessica Keenan Wynn as Heather Chandler, Elle McLemore as Heather McNamara, and Alice Lee as Heather Duke. The off Broadway production quickly get, gained critical acclaim for its dark humour, catchy tunes, and razor sharp writing. Fans couldn't get enough, and the show became a sensation on social media. Barrett Wilbert's Weed's portrayal of Veronica and Jessica Keen and Wynn's performance as Heather Chandler received well-deserved praise. So from 2014 to 2015, the show started to spread its wings. Heather's The Musical began to hit regional and international stages, showcasing a multitude of talented performers in the lead roles. Katie Ladner took the reins as Veronica in the Los Angeles production, while Barrett Wilbert Weed reprised her role in the Chicago production. 2015 brought us the cast recording, a musical treasure trove for fans, with the original off-Broadway cast belting out those catchy tunes, and we could all relish the, relish the music beyond the theatre. It was a treat for the ears, a treat for the fans, including myself, I couldn't stop singing along, it was playing in my car, love it. So now we're going to fast forward to 2018, and the highly anticipated West End production opened at the Other Palace Theatre in London. This time, Carrie Hope Fletcher stole the spotlight as Veronica. 
joined by Jamie Mascato as JD, Jody Steele as Heather Chandler, Shane Williams as Heather Duke, and Sophie Isaacs as Heather McNamara. The West End run received rave reviews, and Carrie Hope Fletcher's portrayal of Veronica due particular praise. The entire cast of wild audiences, myself included, with their powerful performances and impressive vocal talents, and London was under the spell of the Heathers. Several changes were made to enhance the show and adapt it to the new audience. One notable change was the expansion of certain characters in the storyline. In the London production, Martha Dunstock's character was given more depth, allowing an audience to connect with her on a deeper emotional level. A deeper emotional level. You're Welcome replaced Blue, as Blue had been perceived by audiences as treating date rape as a laughing matter and trivialising it as comical boyish antics. Heather Duke was also given a new song, Never Shut Up Again, which replaced Blue Reprise. And in the last week of the run at the Other Palace Theatre, I Say No was added where Veronica finally jumps, dumps JD. Since then, Heather's has been captivating audiences worldwide. It's been performed in numerous theatre companies and schools and community groups. And each new production brings fresh faces and interpretations to the show. Now let's dissect this dark and satirical show in all its glory by exploring the show's key themes. And our first key theme is high school hierarchies and bullying. Ah, high school, the notorious breeding ground for social hierarchies and bullying. Heather's brilliantly portrays the brutal realities of these dynamics. We witness the oppressive social structure at Westerberg High where jocks like Ram and Kurt reign supreme, while the Heathers rule the roost with their queen bee status. This theme highlights the toxic nature of cliques, of the torment inflicted on the outcasts like Martha Dunstock and the pressure to conform. One of the other central themes in Heathers is the quest for identity and authenticity. Our protagonist, Veronica, grapples with the desire to fit in and be accepted by the popular crowd. However, she soon realises, squeaky chair, she soon realises the cost of compromising her true self. This theme explores the importance of embracing individuality, the struggles of finding one's voice amidst societal pressures and the consequences of losing oneself self in the quest for popularity. Power dynamics and manipulations take centre stage in Heather's musical as well. We witness the Heathers exerting their control over the student body, using their status to manipulate and torment others. But it doesn't end there. When JD comes along, the mysterious and charismatic outsider who challenges the existing power structure so this theme explores the dangerous allure of power, the manipulation can oft and the manipulation that often accompanies it, and the devastating consequences when it falls into the wrong hands. Heathers doesn't shy away from exploring the consequences of bullying. The show confronts us with the harsh reality of its impact and the emotional and psychological toll on victims to the lasting scars that it leaves behind. Through its dark humour and provocative storytelling, the musical urges us to reflect on the consequences of our actions and the need for compassion and empathy. Rebelling against oppressive systems is a recurring theme in Heather's The Musical. Veronica and JD embark on a journey to disrupt the status quo and challenge the toxic culture that dominates their school. This theme delves into the idea of breaking free from societal norms, questioning authority, and fighting against in injustice. It prompts us to question the systems we uphold and encourages us to find the courage to stand up for what is right. 
Love and Lost, Love and Lost weave their way through Heather's the musical like a haunting melody. Veronica and JD's complicated relationship takes center stage, showcasing the complexities of teenage love amidst a backdrop of darkness. The musical explores the emotional depths of love, the pain of heartbreak, and the profound impact it can have on our lives. And there you have it, a deep dive into the key themes of Heather's the Musical. From high school hierarchies, to the pursuit of authenticity, from the consequences of bullying, to the power of rebellion, this show packs a punch and leaves audiences contemplating these thought-provoking themes. So now let's explore the masterful use of music in the storytelling of Heather's the Musical. So Heather's the Musical takes us on a thrilling musical journey, employing various music styles and tonal shifts to enhance the storytelling. For instance, the opening number, Beautiful, introduces us to the world of Westerberg High with its upbeat pop rock sound, reflecting the high school setting and the desire for popularity. On the other hand, Candy Store showcases a sassy and empowering tone, as the Heathers establish their dominance over the school. These contrasting styles not only provide musical diversity, but also mirror the shifting dynamics within the narrative. The power of music is used to il illuminate and deepen character traits. Heather's excels in using songs to reveal the inner worlds of the characters. Take Veronica's heartfelt solo, 17, where she expresses her yearning for acceptance and her struggle to find her own identity. The song's tender me melody and introspective lyrics capture Veronica's vulnerability and desire to break free from social confines of high school. Similarly, JD's brooding and haunting melodies in songs like Freeze Your Brain and Meant to Be Yours paint a vivid picture of his complex and troubled nature. Each character's musical voice brings their unique journey and struggles to life. The musicality of Heather's plays a pivotal role in the emotional pacing and storytelling arcs. The high energy ensemble numbers like Big Fun eject moments of excitement and energy, balancing the darker themes and the intensifying impact of crucial plot development. In contrast, the poignant ballads like Seventeen and Lifeboat tug at our heartstrings capturing the character's emotions and driving the narrative forward. These carefully crafted musical moments guide us through the highs and lows of the story, ensuring a captivating and emotionally resonant experience. One of the fascinating aspects of Heather's is its effect to use repetition and musical motifs. The recurring melodies, lyrics and, or musical themes create a sense of unity and reinforce key moments. If you consider the musical motif in 17, where the phrase 17 and we got it made reappears multiple times, each with a different emotional weight. Initially, it represents Veronica's excitement and hopes for a better future. But as the story unfolds, the motif transforms reflecting the disillusionment and consequences she faces. These musical callbacks enhance the thematic cohesion and deepen our connection to the characters. We can't overlook the visual spectacle and theatricality of Heather's either. The choreography and staging elevate the musical experience, adding another layer to the storytelling. In the song Dead Girl Walking, Veronica's passionate solo is accompanied by dynamic dance moves and visually striking moments that capture her liberation and empowerment. Similarly, the ensemble numbers feature synchronized choreography that embodies the high school hierarchy, showcasing the energy and vibrance of youth. The seamless integration of music, dance and theatricality creates a visually stunning and immersive experience. So, there you have it. We've done an in-depth exploration of the musicality and use of music in storytelling within Heathers. We've dived into the diverse musical styles, 
character driven songs, emotional pacing, repetition and even the choreography that makes this show a true auditory and visual delight. So... So Heather's Off-Broadway Warren was generally well received by both critics and audiences. It was praised for staying true to the film while still having its own original additions to the storyline. The score and choreography of the musical was also given high praise. The musical, however, was criticised for its length and its characters not living up to the original cast of the film. It was also criticised for taking the dark themes of the source material and sanitising them with bubbly music and cartoon-like characters. Marilyn Stasio wrote in Variety that she liked the lyrics, but was not a fan of the music, saying it was okay, but it didn't sound like anything from the 80s. The Guardian gave the musical 2 out of 5 stars, but Elizabeth Vincentelli of the New York Post gave it 4 out of 5 stars. The West End production received a mixed reception and was flagged by some critics because it felt that the complex issues such as homosexuality, bulimia and suicide were made lighter for comedic effect, making parts of the show feel dated and uncomfortable for a 2018 audience. But the fans of the show, it's become a cult classic, so this is something that we're seeing more and more. Critics don't really like a show but audiences love the show so I love it I don't feel it's dated as we near the end of our discussion on Heather's musical let's take a moment to reflect on the show's journey and explore what the future might hold for this captivating production so Heather's the musical has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the world of musical theatre its audacious approach, unflinching exploration of dark themes and catchy music have resonated with audiences across the globe. The show's ability to simultaneously entertain, provoke, fork and ignite discussions on important social issues is a testament to its lasting impact. While the critical reception was mixed, Heathers has developed a loyal and devoted fan base with its own vibrant subculture. The musical's themes of identity, societal pressures, and the consequences of high school hierarchies continue to strike a chord with audiences today. So what lies ahead for Heathers? Well, there have been no recent announcements of major revivals or productions at the time of filming, but there is currently a big UK tour going on, and I'm going to see it in July in Glasgow while it's stopping there on its tour because I love it. The show's enduring popularity ensures that it will continue to be performed by theatre groups in schools, both amateur and professional, and around the world. Its cult following and passionate fan base guarantee that Heathers will have a place in the hearts of theatre lovers for years to come. Additionally, the success of Heathers the Musical has opened doors for similar boundary-pushing productions. It has paved the way for other musicals to tackle dark themes explore unconventional narratives and challenge traditional storytelling norms. The legacy of Heathers can be seen in the continued evolution of musical theatre, as more diverse and daring works take their place on the stage. So as we eagerly anticipate the future of musical theatre, we can look back at Heathers the Musical as a groundbreaking production that fearlessly, fearlessly pushed boundaries, sparked conversations, and reminded us of the power of theatre as a thought-provoking and inspiring change. And with that, we conclude this exploration of Heather's the Musical. I hope you've enjoyed the journey through the show's development, its critical reception, and its impact on the theatrical landscape. Remember, whether you're a fan or a critic, theatre is meant to ignite discussion and evoke emotions. Keep supporting and celebrating the art of musical theatre and be open to unique stories and perspectives that continue to shape the stage. So until next time, this is Diamond with Musical Theatre, signing off and reminding you to keep the magic of theatre alive in your hearts. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more captivating discussions from the world of performing arts. See ya.